News talk to be at seven past eight on what has been uh, a pretty trippy morning, hasn't it, on the back of uh, those wonders from Old Trafford. Uh, in a few moments, we are due to be joined by Terry Wilson, who is one of the Kiwis who features in this rem- remarkable documentary, which actually uh, debuts at um, movie theatres around New Zealand today, Camino Skies. Now, you might have uh, heard about this fabulous documentary which hits uh, New Zealand movie screens today, Camino Skies. Yes, all about Camino de Santiago, walking it, all 800 kilometres of it. And uh, a number of Kiwis feature in this documentary alongside some Aussies. Uh, And joining us is one of the uh, uh, cast members as such in the documentary, Terry Wilson. Very good morning to you, Terry. Good morning to you. Now, before we talk about the walk itself and the documentary, I'd love to uh, just give our audience an insight into into your life story, your recent life story. Terry, tell us about Maddie. Ooh-hoo. Well, I had decided to uh, to walk the Camino myself, and uh, about three months after I'd made that decision, Maddie died. Now, Maddie is our granddaughter. She yeah. was 17, and she had cystic fibrosis, and it was quite a shock to the family, obviously. And so I decided to walk it for her, and I took her with me. And uh, somebody said, well, what, do you mean you take the ashes? I said, no, I took her spirit. Um, and so I did the first one for her, but also for myself, because I needed a bit of sorting out too. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Camino's like that. It will It will sort you out. And then... The second one was with the uh, film Camino Skies. Yes. And I walked it with five other completely strange people. And I don't mean that disparagingly. (laughs) I had never met them. We got to the start line and we were, apart from my son-in-law, we were introduced and that was it. This is who you're walking with. Get on with it. And, uh, And that was a very interesting and a very nice experience as well. And then I've only been back six weeks from my walking with my daughter for the third Camino, and that was yet a, again a different experience as well and a wonderful experience too. Yes. Now, Martin Sheen, the drama of him, you know, walking the Camino, you've watched that, haven't you? Yes, certainly have. That's what got me started. Oh, really? Oh, yes. It's got, that's, uh, up, until our film Camino Skies has come along, which will get yeah. everybody started, yeah. Martin seemed to have gotten a lot of people started on the on the Camino. I was told to read St. James, and I never got round to it, just lazy. And when the film St. James, I, I happened to find it and read and watch it, I decided, that's it, I'm going to walk it. You were too lazy to read it, you're going to walk it. And that was it. I just, in, within half an hour of watching the movie... I had decided that was it. It changed my life. On the first walk, uh, Terry, tell us about the stranger, that chatty old man you met en route. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, you've got to realise I'm Catholic and I was looking for, you know, some answers and, you know, get back on track. Yep. And, of course, there was Maddie as well. I was wearing a T-shirt which had Maddie's picture on it because we were supposed to be raising funds for cystic fibrosis, which we did quite successfully. And he stopped. And now people don't usually stop and talk to you. They're wonderful people, but they've got 100 people, pilgrims a day, walking past them. They can't talk to the wall of them. And he stopped right in my personal space. And he said, Italiano. I said, no, I'm a New Zealander. And then he broke into some very good English and general chat, and then he pointed and said, now, who's Maddie? Uh, and uh, I said, and I told him the story and got a bit emotional. He kissed his fingers and reached straight through my personal space and rest his, rested his fingers on the face of Maddie on my T-shirt, then drew them back and made the sign of the cross over himself and said, Maddie will be all right. I'll say lots of prayers for him. And the whole thing, he just... He knew who I was. He seemed to know he could look right inside me for some reason. And maybe I was up for it. I was open for it. And I was. Mm. 
but he really could just look inside me. Then he put his hand out, as a, not as a handshake, palm up, flat. Now, that's a very odd thing. If you're in the studio, you do that. I am, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's bordering on creepy. It is, I and agree. The only way he can take that hand is to go palm down and put it straight on top of his. He then yeah. came over and covered my hand again. And we stood there for, say, 15, 20 seconds, and he just looked at me. And wow. sorry. Wow. That's and, a moment, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, and I, t- we gradually let go. That was yeah. it. News Talk ZB with Mike Yardley in for Mike Hosking. We are with Terry Wilson ahead of the, the release today of the documentary Camino Skies uh, in cinemas right across New Zealand. Uh, Terry, let's uh, scram through a whole lot of issues uh, in our remaining four minutes or so. Okay. Um, just, just briefly, as you referred to, after you'd walked the Camino the first time, the producers of this documentary contacted you to see if you'd happily walk it again with this group of uh, fellow Kiwis and Aussies. Um, the, the team bonding, because obviously you've all got your own uh, respective stories of, of loss and grief and, and struggle. Um, how powerful was it to walk with, with such a group? It was, it was bordering on terrifying because my son-in-law came with me, so we knew each other. But apart from that, we ended up, or not, yes, we got to San Jean Piard de Port, which is the first town that you arrive at before you start walking the Camino. Yeah. And in the morning, because we got in late about 11 o'clock because the French decided to have yet another rail strike. <laughs> they have a rail strike on any day with a Y in it. But, um, and we came down to breakfast and we were literally introduced to the four other people. We'd never seen them in our life before. And that was it. The next day we started walking 800 kilometres, making a film, Camino Skies. How many Ks would you clock up on average each day? Average 25 Ks a day. Um, Some of them went up to 30, 32. There was a couple like that. But on the average 25. It got to the stage where there's some at 18. And, you know, when you're doing an 18 one, it's sort of like going next door for a cup of sugar or something like that. You know, you get yeah. quite arrogant of it. You turn into a machine. I bet. I mean, I, I just looked at some maths. 800k is Whangarei to Wellington. That's yeah. a hell of a hike, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is a bit, yeah. Um, yeah. The Pyrenees, how tough? Uh, the first day you go over the Pyrenees, which is a 1,250-metre climb. And it is tough. It's like doing an exam for entrance um, into university, as you used to do. You know, if you can't do the first day, go home. Um, that's about it. You can go through the valley, yeah. which is almost as hard. A lot of people say it's, you know, it's not, but it is almost as hard because I've gone over the top once and through the valley twice. But um, it is real hard. Yeah. There is a fabulous moment in the documentary, um, and I don't want to be Mr. Yeah. Spoiler here, but I no. love your moment with the dog oh. struggling up the hill. Yeah, well, that was uh, that's my son-in-law, mm-hmm. um, Mark, and yes. we just happened to the cameraman uh, Noel was coming through about an hour before, an uh, hour after, and he spotted the dog as well, and that's how we've got the dog on film. Otherwise, we'd never have had it. Um, and he, uh, you know, it, it affected him, and he found that dog got him through that first day. After you've done the first day, um, some days are almost as hard, but generally, you know, you know you're going to make it. Yeah. Yep. Terry, I've got to go, but um, yep. what do you hope viewers get out of the documentary? I hope this one, even though it's, you know, maybe because I'm in it, I don't think so. I've watched every documentary you could do, you can find on the, on the Camino. This one shows you the real Camino, what it was like to walk it. Um, you know, the rain, you, you don't have to walk it in the rain, but this shows you the most realistic portrayal of walking the Camino. And it's called Camino Skies. Fabulous. Well, look, great of you to join us. Thank you very much for Thank time. Thank you and, very uh, much. We look forward to the book. I know you're writing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, well, let's let's concentrate on the film. <laughs> <laughs> one step at a time, dear. One eh? step at a time. Exactly. Now, I worked Good it on out. You, it was 1.6 <laughs> million steps. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Terry, thank you very much. Terry Wilson. Thank you.